Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be showing you all of my bookshelves. I know that a lot of you guys always ask to see my manga shelves or to see my classics shelves and I am going to show those to you. I redid my four main shelves and I definitely don't feel like doing a bookshelf tour anytime soon. So I thought that this would be a good way to show them to you. I'm gonna pretty much go like shelf by shelf so that you can see what I've decided upon, how I've decorated, all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna show you my classic shelves a little later on. I'll show you my manga shelves. And then I have some other shelves in my bedroom too, and those are mostly like middle grade. So you will get to see all of the bookshelves in my apartment during this vlog. Here we go. <laughs> so here is a little overview of my bookshelves. As you might see, I got this new pink chair that I'm obsessed with, but these are essentially like the what my shelves look like from afar. So up here, bookshelf one, I've got some extra copies of Name of the Wind and Wise Man's Fear. I've got some Neil Gaiman, and I've got some Lord of the Rings Funkos. And then moving down, I decided that I wanted to keep one full set of Harry Potter on my main bookshelves. So I have that. I have a Harry Potter mug from Premark. I have my Lee Bardugo book and I have a copy of The Night Circus. Then I've got my Shadowhunter shelf and this one also has all of my Avatar Funkos on it which I just got and I'm super in love with them. So this is one of my favorite shelves. Further down I have all of my Sarah J Moss books and I also have my Witchland series on here, which I'm still on the fence about. I'm going to read Blood Witch and then that will determine whether I'm going to continue with the series or not. Next shelf, I've got some tall fantasy hardcover books. So I've got things like Caraval, I've got An Ember in the Ashes series, I've got Never Night in God's Grave in both the UK and US editions. I have the Gilded Wolves. I've got the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I have the Last Magician series. And I also have the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. And in front of that, I have three Laney Taylor candles. Then below that, I have some more fantasy. These are more adult fantasy. And I have space on the shelf. So when I get new books, I can add them here. So I've got like the Magicians trilogy. I've got some Terry Pratchett books. I have the Winter Night trilogy. I have the Half a King trilogy. I've got the UK editions of City of Brass and Kingdom of Copper, which are just stunning. The other Joe Abercrombie trilogy, the First Law trilogy, which I still have to read. Daughter of the Forest, which I've been saying I've going to read for years and still haven't gotten to. And then Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu, which I love, and Catwoman Soul Stealer, which I still have to read. And then just below that, I have more adult hardcover fantasies. So I've got the Game of Thrones series. I have the first book in the Wheel of Time. I've got Kill the Farm Boy, which I still really want to read, and Sisters of the Winterwood, which I still want to read. Got another Juliet Merlier book, Heart's Blood, which is like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I want to read that. Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which is one that was on my 10 to read in 2019 list, and a couple of other fantasies. Moving on to bookshelf number two, I have my collection of Star Wars Funkos. I largely collect the ladies, but I have a couple of other characters as well. Then right below it starts my rainbow shelf. So this is my white shelf. I have the alternate covers of the Raven Boys. I've got A Darker Shade of Magic. I have Elise Kova's Air Awakened series. And then a whole bunch of other contemporaries, some of which are my absolute favorites, like the Nantucket duology and the To All the Boys I've Loved trilogy. And also my Katie Katugno books and Sadie. And there's a space here because I'm currently reading Girls with Sharp Sticks. Otherwise that would be there. The next shelf, I've got more rainbow contemporaries going on here. So I've got books like Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've got some Casey West. I've got Girl Against the Universe, which is one of my favorite contemporaries by Paula Stokes. I've got When Dimple Met Rishi. I've got The Sun is Also a Star. Lots of colorful contemporary spines we have going on here. Next, I've got more rainbows going on. These are all paperback books. A lot of them are ones that I have not yet read, but I'm looking forward to doing so. Other ones are ones that I have read and I've really enjoyed, like The Kiss Quotient and The Simple Wild and How to Love. Then... We've got, it's a little bit blocked by my chair, but this is my favorite shelf on my entire bookshelf because we've got Spinning Silver, we've got Uprooted, we've got the Penderwick series, we've got Name of the Wind, my number one book ever, Cruel Prince and Wicked King. Like it's just full of fantasy and fairies and just things that I love. I've got Lainey Taylor, I've got Diviners, like it's just great. 
Now I'm like kind of going at an angle here because my chair is sort of blocking the shelf, but I've got lots of Star Wars books. This is my Star Wars shelf. So on the left are all of my adult Star Wars novels. Then I've got a pink Darth Vader head. Then I've got more adult Star Wars novels, but as you go like past and behind the chair, I have my young adult Star Wars novels. Sorry, this is a horrible angle. Then down here, I have all of my giant like coffee table books. So these are all like Harry Potter books, Lord of the Rings books. I've got a Hamilton book. I've got a Firefly book. I've got a Stranger Things book. They're all just like those big coffee table type books. And there's more of them too behind the pink chair, but you can't really see those. Bookshelf number three. I've got all of my arcs on top here, as well as a couple of really pretty editions of classics, but they're on the larger side so they don't fit on my other shelves. Then I've got more rainbow books here. These are like the pink and dark ones. So again, I've got some favorites like Emergency Contact and Anne and the French Kiss and Fangirl and, and Starry Eyes. And then I've also got some like fantastical books that tend to be favorites, like the Archived series, The Wicked Deep, Passenger, I've got my Ashley Elston books. This is a good shelf. Next are my blue rainbow shelves. This has books like Always Never Yours, How to Love, Since You've Been Gone. They're just all blue and green and one purple snuck its way in there. And then I also have my Akko Nendroid, which I love from Little Witch Academia, which Andrew got me for, I believe it was Valentine's Day one year. Next, I've got the rest of my paperback rainbow shelf. This has the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I've got the first Crazy Rich Asians book, which I loved. You may notice that I have another copy of This Is Our Story in paperback, and that's because Jane was kind enough to get me a signed copy when she met her at an event. I've also got UK editions of some Emery Lord books. I've got Christina Lauren on the end there. Then I have my second favorite shelf, which is also the behind me while I'm filming shelf. So I've got The Night Circus. I've got Muse of Nightmares. I've got both of my editions of Shadow of the Fox. I have the original covers of The Raven Boys, The Scorpio Races, Scythe, Mistborn, which I am definitely going to finish reading this year. I've read the first book, but I actually want to reread it and then continue on with the other two. And also The Last Unicorn, which I love, and Over the Garden Wall figures, my fave. Then further down, we are once again blocked by the pink chair, but I have just really pretty, my really pretty editions of Anne of Green Gables, as well as my graphic novel of The Prince and the Dressmaker, and then Moving to the side, I've got more historical fiction paperbacks. These are mostly all of my Beatrice Williams books and then a couple of extras. I really wanna read Marilla of Green Gables very soon. Below that, these are mostly TBR books and they're mostly young adult books. So again, sorry, they're a little bit blocked by the chair. Although I have read Famous in a Small Town, that's not a TBR book, but these are ones that I need to get to. And then if I like them, I will incorporate them into the rest of my bookshelf. And my final of my four main bookshelves, I've got UK editions, UK hardbacks of adult fantasy. Then I've got UK paperbacks of fantasy. I've got the Mortal Instrument series, Throne of Glass, Name of the Wind, and Assassin's Apprentice. Then I've got my adult, mostly adult sci-fi shelf. So I really have to finish reading the Leviathan Wakes, The Expanse series. I have the second book on hold at my library because it's so big. So I want to try listening to it in a different format instead of reading it physically because I know it's going to take me a long time. I'm also really excited to read the Stranger Things book. Next, I have an adult fantasy shelf. And the reason that there's a bunch of space on here too is because I still have a few Witcher novels to add to my collection. I've got my Witcher Nendroid, which I'm obsessed with. And I've got a lot of other adults fantasy books on here, many of which were published by Orbit, so I've kind of been calling this my Orbit bookshelf. Next, I've got young adult fantasy series that I really enjoyed. So I've got like Frostblood, I've got Anna Dressed in Blood, I've got the special editions of A Darker Shade of Magic, I've got the Girl at Midnight series, I've got some of my Neil Gaiman books, The Story Spinner, just a whole bunch of stuff. Down here, I have some more fantasy that I either enjoyed or have not yet read. This is kind of like the most mishmash shelf. And I also have two adult nonfiction books on the side. Then finally, last shelf, I've got a bunch of adult fiction, some of it which I've read, some of it which I haven't read, and then my extra copies of An Ember in the Ashes. And if you look down there, I've also got some stuff on the floor, like this card and plush that I got in one of the many book boxes that I ordered. 
Moving on to my manga shelves. Up here I have the box set of Blackbird, I've got my Scott Pilgrim comics, those are the ones that are in color, and I also have the Oran High School Host Club box set. Then I've got Wodokoi, Princess Jellyfish, Cardcaptor Sakura, the Avatar comics, all of my Sailor Moon comics and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I have the Dream and Sun series, there's the Shiro figure that I just recently got. Then I have a bunch of like one volumes that I need to read. As you can see these are kind of a mess right now. I also have uh, Komomo Confissory, Chobits, I've got some Funkos, I've got my Ramona Mondo statue, I've got Paradise Kiss which is like my favorite 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 ever. Then I've got my Fruits Basket shelf. Two of the volumes are missing because they are on my TBR shelf, or three of the volumes actually. The shelf next to that is all Doctor Who stuff. Then I've got all of Nana with my Kana statue. I've got a Sailor Moon and Pokemon statue. I've got Happy Marriage over there. Then further down I've got like Orange and all of Odomin and some of the light novels in Sword Art Online. And then below that I've got some more like kind of one-off volumes of manga as well as all of Peach Girl and I've got my little Elias Funko which I love and some candles. And then down here, which is super messy, is just um, Hot Gimmick and Revolutionary Girl Utena and Uzumaki. And then the shelf next to it is actually empty at the moment except for the life-changing magic of tidying up. Moving into my living room, here starts some of the classic books. So these are all the books in the Penguin Drop Caps collection, plus I Captured the Castle by Dodie Smith, which is just one of the most beautiful editions of a book ever published. Then I've got my little Lord of the Rings shelf, and next to that I have all of the nature, I think they're called nature classics editions or wilderness editions or something like that from Gibbs Smith. I still have a couple of them that I need to get but I just really love the covers of these. I think they're so beautiful. Then I have all of my Puffin and Bloom and v and I think they're called V&A Classic. And then next to that, I've got Barnes & Noble Hardcover Classics. Then we've got some more Puffin Classics. These are all the past one, two, three, Four. All of these shelves are pretty much children's classics. And on the left I have all of my Minolima books. Then I have my little entryway here. So up on the top I just have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book which was illustrated by Anna Bond from Rifle Paper Co. and the new edition of Little Women which is so gorgeous. Then I have my Penguin Clothbound classics and on the right I also have a bunch of Articus books classics. So I've got the Anne of Green Gables series and I have two Jane Austen books and then some Sherlock books. Below that I've got Canterbury Illustrated Classics, four classics that I cannot remember the collection that they're part of. I've also got Watership Down which I'm so excited about. I've got some modern vintage classics which I think are all editions of books by women. I've got like Rebecca, The Enchanted April, Valley of the Dolls. I also have a super beautiful edition of Rebecca. And then I've got Three Fairy Tales illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia. And then on the bottom here, I've also got more of the Barnes & Noble hardcover classics or leather bound classics. Now, this is going to be very hard to share because we have our dresser blocking a lot of these bookshelves, but <laughs> this is in our bedroom. So in the top left, I've got comics, I've got the Fable series, in the middle I've got my beautiful German editions of Harry Potter, above that are the Harry Potter illustrated editions, and then to the right of that is the Harry Potter signature editions. <laughs> Moving down on the left I've got more comics, then in the middle I've got another edition of Harry Potter, and then on the right I've got yet another edition of Harry Potter. Now here is where it's going to start getting kind of tricky, but on the left I've got more comics, in the middle more Harry Potter, and on the right more Harry Potter. Here we've just got more comics, and then the shelf below it I have the Sookie Stackhouse series. Then I've got middle grade books on the next two, so I've got the the Goose Girl series, I've got Doll Bones, I've got the Iron Trial. I have also some young adult fantasy, so it's more like older young adult fantasy. So I have the Megan Well and Turner series. I've got some Tamara Pierce. I have my US editions of Nevermore. The UK ones were on my other shelf. And then below that I've got all of my like fashion books, just like coffee table type books. And then to the right I have more middle grade and young adult fantasy, some Alexandra Bracken, some Garth Nix, and 
Peter and the Star Catchers. Then below that, I've got the Hunger Games. I have my Folio Society edition of His Dark Materials. I've got a really pretty edition of Alice in Wonderland. Behind this stack of books, I have The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. And in front of that, I've got some Brian Selznick books, Never Ending Story. And then to the right of that, I just have this pile of books that I'm still trying to kind of incorporate into my shelf but haven't done so. And since I'm showing you all of the shelves, here are the only two shelves on Andrew's bookshelf that have books on them. So we've got like Sandman series and Scott Pilgrim and Legend of Zelda manga and some art books of like video games and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it. Those are all of the bookshelves that are currently in my apartment, in Andrew's apartment. We've got quite a lot of books here. <laughs> this is a very bookish household, largely because of me. But I'm pretty happy to have been able to show them all to you guys. Hopefully you'll be happy seeing them in the way that I showed them instead of doing the traditional bookshelf tour. I figured this will also be a little bit faster, so it won't be something you'll have to invest a whole lot of time in watching. You can just pause or you can ask me any questions if I went too quickly and you want to know what something on the shelf was. But that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in a new one. Bye!